How to use Skype Meet as a guest user on Macbook? Skype Meet is easy. Create a link and share with people you want to join the call. No signups required. If you don't have Skype installed, that's ok, you can enjoy it on your browser. Invite up to 50 people and enjoy free video calls using Skype. In this video, I will show you how to create a Skype Meet conference. I will also talk about joining the conference without a Skype account. So let's get started. I will show you how to create a meeting directly on your browser. First of all, as a guest user, you will not need Skype to be installed. You can go to your preferred browser like Safari or Chrome. On the address bar, write skype.com. On the main site, click on Create a free meeting. Write the meeting name. You can use any name you like. After this, just click Create a free meeting. You will get a link that you need to share with everybody you wish to join the meeting on this page. You can use WhatsApp, email or any other communication to send this link. To start the meeting, just click on Start Call. You have now created a meeting. The next part of the video is almost the same for participants or for the person who did the meeting. On this page, you can join as a guest user or use your Skype account. You can click on Open Skype and use the app on your Mac to join the meeting. But I will not do that. And I will join the meeting as a guest user on Google Chrome. Click Join as guest. Write the name and click Join. Here on the page you can start the camera, the microphone and also just start the chat. Let's open the microphone. Swipe to on this button. Click allow for the site web.skype.com to use your microphone. You can also start the camera if you want. Let's click on the chat. You are now in the conversation. You can start the call or send a message. Like you see now, somebody is writing a message to the group. You see in real time that other person is typing. The typing experience and the messages are the same as you have on Skype. You can send a message on the input from the bottom. You can also send emojis by clicking the icon with the smile. Also, on the conversation you can send picture, contacts and audio message. You can do that on the bottom of the right of the input of the message. You can also click on the More button. This will allow you to schedule a call or create a pool. These are quite impressive options if you think this is done by a web service. Also, if you click on a message sent by somebody else, you can copy it, quote it, select it and even report it. If you click on select, you will have the possibility to select more messages and remove them or copy them in another place. Let's start the call on this chat. Click on the start call from the top. You can start the video or microphone on this pop-up if you like. Click here also start the call. Now the call has started. Wait until somebody joins the call. We have a user on the call. On the call, you can record the meeting, share screen, use React emojis and see the chat. On the free dots menu, you can turn subtitles on, turn off incoming videos, hold the call and check audio and video settings. You have all of these options like in the Skype app. After you finish the talk, just click on the end call. This is how you use Skype Meet as a guest user on your MacBook. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.